Hi, I'm Zoe. I've been a gift gaff vlogger and community member for two years now. Today I'm going to review for you the brand new flagship for HTC, the HTC One M8. I'm very familiar with the HTC One because its previous model is my own smartphone. Design-wise, the M8 edges are seamless and curved, it looks smooth and feels great in the hand. It definitely seems like a lot of thought has gone into its aluminium design. It has a full HD 5-inch screen which is protected by a Gorilla Glass panel. If you're a single hand user coming from a smaller smartphone or have particularly small hands, the screen size might take some adapting too. But you do get used to it and it makes for a much better experience when browsing the web or watching videos. It has three cameras, which I'll tell you a bit more about later, and the HTC exclusive front facing speakers with boom sound technology. It runs Android KitKat with HTC Sense UI, which is a pleasure to use. It's very straightforward and intuitive. It still uses Blink Feed, which is a feature which compiles your closest friends' social media updates with articles about your interests. And as it's Android, it uses the fantastic Google Play Store. There's some new shortcuts, turning the phone horizontally and pressing the volume button will display the camera, pressing it again will take a picture, double tapping on the screen when it's off will display the time, and a swipe can unlock the phone. This is a feature which I think is great, because the buttons are designed to blend so well with the size of the phone, it can be quite fiddly finding the power button sometimes. The battery is so impressive and very reliable. It's been improved to last 40% longer than the previous model, which was already fantastic. The cameras. So there's a front facing five megapixel camera and the main rear camera is four megapixels, which might seem a little strange and the wrong way round. But HTC states that the software utilizes all of this and allows you to take fantastic pictures without the massive amount of megapixels. The secondary rear camera collects information about the scene that you're trying to capture such as what's in the foreground. This allows you to take pictures with the effects that you would only previously been able to get when using a high-end camera. There's full manual mode, so you can change things such as ISO and white balance and save these settings as presets, along with plenty of effects, filters and frames. So there's plenty of features to make up for the lower number of megapixels. This is definitely a step forward for smartphone photography, allowing you to take a picture how you want it already, rather than having to go back and edit it separately. The gallery has been redesigned, a pinch allows you to change from year, month or day views. It finally includes a micro SD slot, so you can add an additional 180 gigs to the storage, allowing you to take full advantage of storing your apps, music and pictures. They've improved an already remarkable smartphone in practically all of its features. It's a very powerful, well-designed handset, which battery will not disappoint. If you're particularly impressed with megapixels or have small hands, then the handset might take some getting used to, but I think it's totally worth it. I think it's one of the best smartphones I've ever had my hands on. Thanks for watching this review, I hope you found it helpful. Myself and other members have done some written and video reviews for the other handsets in the Gift Gaff shop, so please check those out just to make sure that you're getting the right handset for you.